Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, well, I had to cut the original ver uh, version of the video out because it was getting really, really hot over there in the sun. So I moved it all over here in the shade. Uh, anyways, what I found here is uh, the infamous banded water snake. And as you can see, he's being pissy, as usually all water snakes are. Um, this is uh, Nerodia fascieta fascieta. Um, a lot of people call them southern banded water snakes or just southern water snakes. But uh, yeah, um, really common in little ponds and creeks and stuff. I mean, you'll see them just about in any wetland habitat. And uh, I'm going to see if I can get to ground level with this thing. Um, anyways, when I looked, when I caught it, like I just checked out the belly and it was like beautiful bright red and had the little black crescent shaped spots on the belly and uh, these um, <laughs> normally I wouldn't make videos of uh, these kinds of water snakes but uh, my goal is to make videos of every species of uh, snake and other animal in North Carolina so uh, and also this snake has the baddest reputation out of all the snakes we have because it's always mistaken for the cottonmouth and uh, and you can kind of see why, I mean, if you don't know how to identify snakes. But, you know, once you get a little more accustomed to which snakes are which, you'll, it'll become easy for you. Right now, he's being a little nice. I mean, earlier, he bit me right on the pinky right there. See, it's kind of red. Anyways, uh, so yeah, these snakes are uh, pretty aggressive, like all water snakes and, and Neurodia genus uh, in general just their nature you know I mean you can't really blame them because you're usually usually kind of messing with them and really any animal wouldn't want to be messed with see he's checking out the camera and uh, generally what water snakes will do is actually try to mimic uh, cottonmouths by spreading their head out and uh, flattening out and doing all these little and uh, they'll also make all these little strike things but uh Cottonmouths and water snakes really have uh, been the trouble of uh, snake identification because you have to really know what you're looking at when you see them. But uh, these snakes right here are uh, uh, mostly, uh, um, they're usually found mostly in the southeast of the United States. Some You might find them in the south central uh, parts of the United States, but uh, the close cousin uh, known as the northern water snake is actually the... Um, the farthest ranging uh, snake in North America um, as well as the eastern garter snake um, but the northern water snake can range all the way up to Canada and all the way out west to Colorado and probably farther than that but yeah that's the thing with these snakes though is that they're dark like cottonmouths oh, I don't know what that was they're dark like cottonmouths and they have those heavily keeled scales not sure how well you can see that I'm trying to but yeah, they have these really rough textured scales. It's almost like sandpaper. Um, and uh, they got the dark coloration, the dull dark coloration, just like the cottonmouth. And uh, sometimes you will be able to see the banding, a little bit of banding on the sides. Hold on, turn it a bit. Just a little bit of banding. I'm not sure how well this is turning out. But uh, but the easiest way to identify these snakes is by the way they swim because water snakes uh, they usually swim with their head at water level and with most of their body underwater and uh, cottonmouths will swim with their head up out of the water probably an inch or two above the water and uh, this is a little baby swimming and uh, they usually just you know swim with their body up while these guys swim below the water so yeah and you can see he's trying to do something with, you know, whip. Oh, shit. You can see what I mean by making a head triangular shaped. So that's a reason why they're pretty hard to tell from cottonmouths. He's pretty grumpy little fella. Oh. I'm gonna put him down in the water. Let him on his way. And there he goes, instantly underwater. Cottonmouth would uh, still be floating on top a little bit. As well as being quick to get out of your way, 
water snakes are actually notorious baskers. And uh, as you can see, here's one up on a branch. This is actually a brown water snake. And uh, cottonmouths don't bask on trees, so you don't have to worry about them falling in your boats.